Hi, and welcome to this lesson on trapezium rule. Trapezium rule is a type of numerical method. If you cannot integrate a function algebraically, you can use a numerical method to approximate the area beneath a curve. Consider the curve y is equal to fx. To approximate the area given by the definite integral of y from a to b, you can divide the area up into n equal strips. A strip will be of width h, where h is equal to b minus a over n. Next, you can calculate the value of y for each value of x that forms a boundary of one of the strips. So, you find y for x is equal to a, x is equal to a plus h, x is equal to a plus 2h, x is equal to a plus 3h, and so on, up to x is equal to b. Notice that for n strips, there will be n plus 1 values for x and n plus 1 values of y. The area of trapezium 1 will be given by half times y0 plus y1 times h. Area of trapezium 2 will be given by half times y1 plus y2 times h. Area of trapezium n minus 1 will be given by half times y n minus 2 plus y n minus 1 times h. And finally, the area of trapezium n will be given by half times y n minus 1 plus y n times height. To approximate the area under the graph, we will do a sum of these trapeziums. We can simplify this further by factorizing out the half and the h. We can see from here that y0 and y n only shows up once. Everything else shows up twice. We can factorize the two out, and this gives us the estimate of the area under the curve, or definite integral of y from a to b, where the width of the strips, the height of the trapezium, is equal to b minus a over n. Now let's look at an actual example. Use the trapezium rule with four stripes to work out an estimate of, of the sine x with respect to x to three significant figures. State whether this solution is an overestimate or an underestimate of the area. n represents the number of strips, the number of trapezia. Our n is a 4. a is 0, b is 2. The width of the strips is given by h, b minus a over n, that is 2 minus 0 over 4, equals half. I highly recommend you to join the strips on the graph. To work out the y values, we are going to use y equals sine x. At the starting point a, the x is equal to 0. Substituting this will give us the y0, which is 0. x1 is equal to 0 0.5. When we substitute this into y equals sine x, we have our value of y1, which is 0 0.479. The value of y2 is 0 0.841. The value of y3 is given when x is equal to 1.5 and the final value of y is given when x is equal to a 2. In this example we are working with radians, so make sure that your calculator is in radian mode. Substituting the values that we have just worked out in the trapezium rule, we will have half times half times 0 plus 0 0.909 plus 2 times 0 0.479 plus 0 0.841 plus 0 0.997 and this is approximately equal to 1.39 to 3 significant figures. When calculating the y values, those are not final answers. I have rounded them to 3 significant figures. Ideally, I should have given these answers to more significant figures and only ran the final answer to 3 significant figures. Is this an overestimate or an underestimate? We can see when we join the straight lines, we cut a little bit out of the graph. Therefore, in this case, it's an underestimate.